I watched the first 10 minutes of Moana 2 at the D23 Brazil event, invited by Disney itself, and I'm going to tell you everything that happened in those highly anticipated first 10 minutes of the sequel, without spoilers of course. I also got to watch the first trailer for the live-action Snow White, which hits theaters next year. The trailer hasn't been released online yet, and so much more happened, with tons of Disney and Pixar news revealed at D23. I'll tell you everything here in this video, so stay with me until the end because another Cine Lovers is about to star. I want to kick off this video by talking about the exclusive trailer I watched for the live action Snow White. Well, I won't give too many spoilers since Disney will probably release it online soon. In the trailer, we see the evil queen in her witch form. I used to be scared of that witch until recently. She's just so terrifying. It also shows a snippet of that iconic poison apple scene. We get a glimpse of Snow White's prince and the seven dwarfs, including their first interaction with Snow White when she arrives at their house. And the CGI looked decent, but they didn't need to use CGI for the seven dwarfs because they're humans. They could have just hired seven dwarf actors, and it would have been perfect. That's what we wanted. I'd much rather see real actors performing than CGI versions. CGI should be reserved for fantastical animals, magical creatures, or animals like in the Jungle Book, Aladdin, Pinocchio, or even the live-action Lilo and Stitch, which I'll talk about later in this video. In those cases, CGI makes sense. But for the Seven Dwarfs? Not so much. While I was there, watching all the Disney announcements, the director of Zootopia 2 showed up and presented an official scene from the movie that's already finished. It's the same scene that was previewed at the D23 event in the United States. The coolest thing about this scene is seeing brand new locations in Zootopia and watching marine animals get some well-deserved spotlight. They also talk more about Gary, the snake, whom they want us to believe is the villain, but he's actually not. In this video, I'll reveal who the real villain of Zootopia 2 is, so click the card later. Oh, and the movie is set to hit theaters in November 2025. And it wasn't just the director of Zootopia 2 who showed up, the director of Mufasa, the Lion King was also there, and we got to watch the brand new trailer firsthand before it was released online. The movie premieres this December, which is just around the corner, and of course, there will be a video about it here on Cine Lovers. So, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. There were so many exciting announcements, but one of the ones I was most thrilled about was Ice Age 6. I literally jumped out of my see, screamed, got emotional, it was amazing. After this video, click on the card to check out all the details. As for watching the first 10 minutes of Moana 2, I absolutely didn't see that coming, but it was incredible and emotional. Disney released the first 10 minutes, including the opening Disney logo sequence. The visuals are stunning, which was expected, of course. I won't give too much away about what happens in those first 10 minutes to avoid spoilers, although Oh, to be honest, there aren't that many spoilers to give. Here's what I can say. There's a brand new song right at the beginning that I really liked. It involves many characters, and speaking of characters, a lot of the ones from the first movie are returning for the sequel. We got a glimpse of them during these first 10 minutes, and there are also some new characters who made brief appearances in the opening. I'm already curious to see what role they'll play in this sequel. Moana 2 is Disney's next release and my expectations are very high. I'll be making several videos about it, so go ahead and give this video a like to support the channel. You're part of this family. During D23, Disney casually leaked some information about Cars 4, and I made a special video about this sequel where I explain everything in detail. Once you finish watching this video, click the card to learn all about Cars 4. It's real! Another Disney live action coming to theaters next year is Lee Lilo and Stitch. I'm super excited about this one too. It's scheduled for release in May 2025, and they've already revealed an official image of Stitch. Let me know in the comments how hyped you are for this movie and what you're expecting from it. Now, talking about Pixar's updates, which also made me really happy. Win or Lose, the series we've been waiting for, is finally coming out. It was cancelled, then brought
brought back, delayed, rescheduled again, and now it's official. February 2025, Win or Lose arrives on Disney+. Plus. Here's an interesting detail. This series is Pixar's first original series. The Cars and Monsters Incorporated series were spin-offs inspired by existing movies, but Win or Lose isn't based on any film. It's an original series with brand new characters created just for this show, and I'll definitely be watching it in full. Of course, there will be a video about it here on Cine Lovers. Speaking of Pixar series, I've already watched the first episode of the Inside Out series called Dreams Productions, and later this week, I'll be making a video sharing my thoughts on the first episode of the series, which premieres this December on Disney+. Plus. Do you remember the movie Elio, which Pixar was supposed to release this year, but switch release dates with Inside Out? Well, they've made a lot of changes to the film, including parts of the story, the movie's logo, and even Elio's personality. I know this because I also watched the new exclusive trailer for the movie, which hits theaters next year. I'm excited to see Elio because it's Pixar's next film, and I'm curious to find out if there are any other changes. I have a challenge for you now. If you've made it this far, I know you're a big fan of the channel, Disney, and Pixar. So it's time for you to click on one of these videos about the Disney universe and watch it all the way through. I want to see if you can complete the challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next Cine Lovers.